Hey guys, how's it going? Brandon here. So today we're going to do a review on the Zizo Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra case, screen protector, and belt clip, which I don't have the belt clip on me right now, which tells you how useful it is when you're at home. So this phone is good for up to a 12 foot drop. I have actually dropped this one time already and I thought it was gonna break at least the screen protector but all is good I accidentally tripped and pretty much did a, oh, a throw of the phone and it went woo and I was like no and then it hit the ground and then I went over and it was perfectly fine and it hit asphalt of all things asphalt's not a good thing on phone cases and you know what it actually left no scuff marks at all which I'm pretty impressed about so the button functionality works perfectly fine on off uh, do the thumbprint there's a picture of the golden retriever hope you guys love that photo we will be doing a photo uh, camera review for the Samsung Galaxy I've been playing with it for a couple weeks now or maybe a week I don't even know how long I've had this phone but it seems like it's been for a while um, and you know the rockers also work you know perfectly fine so all is all is well there and then we get to the kickstand this kickstand is I'm still doubting it quite a bit I haven't used the phone uh, enough to really test how long this will last um, if I get quite a bit of views on this video, maybe I'll do like a stress test and I'll just keep bringing this in and out until it actually breaks and we'll do a count to see how many times it takes until this breaks. But this does seem like it is the flimsiest and cheapest part of the phone case, whether it's just the quality or even just the snap down clips. I feel like these little clips over here are gonna break eventually, but it does work perfectly fine for a kickstand um, the one issue I do have with it is when you're laying down you know obviously it's tilted back I would like it to be tilted like this way but it's not long enough to do that which is perfectly understandable <clears throat> I was worried about this case at first for the camera modular but when I put it on I found out that it does have a little lip over it to protect protect anything that actually hits right here now the only thing that may break is if you dropped it and it went straight down and there was some rocks and it might actually break or scratch up the camera lenses which would not be good but we don't intend on doing that anytime soon or hopefully at all um, so with that being said being the phone that it is, a 12 foot drop is probably going to be your most common case. You know, it's going to be probably less than that. Drop in phones are probably anywhere between, you know, 2 and 4 feet. And this is good for 12 feet. So, unless you're going on some amazing hikes or mountain climbs, or maybe you're on a roller coaster and you decide to hold your phone and you drop it, you know, a good. 90 100 feet and it hits the ground it might actually still be okay but I would not test that and I've had people tell me hey I should go on my roof and toss it in the air and let it hit the asphalt and see what happens if this video ever got popular or any of my videos and somehow I did become a partner with YouTube yeah sure I'll go out and buy a couple of these Put some cases on them and throw them way up in the air and see what happens to them. But I don't make any money from this. And I don't plan on making any money anytime soon. So we're going to skip that part until later on in life. Uh, so let's get to the bad part. So we already knew the bad part is with the kickstand and the quality of work for it. Now I will say the only good thing I do like about it is a little metal clip right here. Which, I mean seems like it would serve a purpose it can also be a bad thing because plastic metal usually don't mix and it would if anything it's gonna crack the plastic up here 
And that's my phone going off because I have a text message. So, with that being said, the other bad thing is this screen protector. It's a cheap screen protector. It works. It's fine. It's viable. But let me tell you <clears throat> why I don't like it personally. Well, one, it's a edge-to-edge uh, adhesive it's not the whole entire thing so you don't get any bubbles which is really good for a lot of people you won't get any bubbles at all but the problem with that is it is actually not sealed perfectly to the screen so if you're a sunglasses wearer like I am and you look at the phone with sunglasses on it has a crazy rainbow effect and maybe I can uh, edit it somehow to show you what the what color I see usually it's a red color if you have it angled from your eyesight and if you're having it directly in front of you it's a greenish uh, light and it mainly shows up right where the um, fingerprint is and it gets really annoying but it only happens if you're wearing sunglasses so sometimes I'll if I'm looking at my phone a lot and I'm wearing sunglasses I'll just take them off because it just gets really, really annoying to look at it once in a while. Uh, sometimes it, it doesn't bother me at all, so it's kind of weird. But sometimes you'll be like driving in your car, and you'll have sunglasses, and all of a sudden you're like, why, why, why is it that color? And it's just pretty much the refraction from your um, sunglasses to the phone case, and it, it just makes a rainbow effect. So that's not too great if your sunglasses wear but for you know 20 25 bucks you don't really expect a whole lot now in general I've had these cases in the past for other phones and they've always worked fine I've never had a broken phone when I've had the Zizo cases so they are a great great buy if you want to go buy one um, I will definitely put a link for uh, Amazon if you want to go out and get yourself one of these cases now the colors are limited I wish they had an orange or a green those are kind of my favorite colors if you can't tell my chair is orange my shirt is green Wow it's amazing how that works out anyways guys I hope you enjoy this video hope you're ready to see more in the in the future I will be doing the uh, camera review next for this Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, and I'll see you next time. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.